do here is a standing gait analysis, and that's going to tell me whether you pronate, supinate, or neutral, okay? It's going to lift your pant leg up just a little bit. Okay, move this heel out just a little bit just to make them parallel for the test. There you go, right there. I'm just going to check your arches. Check your heel. Arch, not much of an arch. Okay, now, keep this leg locked. Keep this foot on the ground and bend this knee forward. Okay? And there's no way I can make a mistake in this test because if you can tell, that's the finishing of your run. Okay, now I want to find the middle of your knee and I'm going to draw a straight line down. And see where you come here? You should be over this toe a little bit more. See this one? Okay, find the middle of your knee. Up. Straight down. And see where you come right there? You should be over here. So you prone it, and then I'm going to explain that for you, okay? Let me get a size on you. Measure about a nine and a half, but that's not what I'm going to bring out. I'm going to bring out a ten and a half, okay? For two reasons. I need to get a thumbnail between the end of your toe and the end of your shoe for two reasons. The first reason is that's going to allow me to match your arch up with the arch in the shoe. So you're going to use your cushioning system along with the cushioning system of the shoe the arch, so you're going to come down softer, okay? And as we run or walk, your feet swell, and we want them to, and they move, and we want them to, but we don't want to hit the end and lose toenails, okay? okay. So you're going to be in a ten and a half. Now let me explain the shoes to you. Okay, this is a neutral shoe. This shoe is meant for somebody who came right down their second toe, okay? They're perfect. They strike here, and they go right down the middle. And then there's only about 20% of our clients who are lucky enough to get a neutral shoe. Okay, so how soft it is now. Okay, that's a neutral shoe. This is your shoe. Now feel how hard that is. Okay, so now with that medial support, you're going to strike here. You're going to want to turn in. This holds you up, makes you go down your second toe. So now you're going to run as efficiently as somebody who wore this, wore this shoe. Then you're going to build up bigger muscles. And then we're going to stay away from little ligaments and tendons in your feet, your knees, your hip, and lower back. Okay? This one's a structure triax. And Nike, they use air for their cushioning system, and they still have the support. So do you ever get shin splints, knee pains? All the time. All the time, yeah. And that's why, that's because you pronate it with a shoe like this, you won't. See this knot here? This is called a runner's knot. This allows me to get you that thumbnail and not have to tie it so tight. Okay, because I want your foot to swell. Okay. Cross them. They'll come up towards you. And then some set in a little bit. And just tie your regular bow. I'm going to compare that with the adrenaline. And this is a Brooks. And Brooks, they use gel, not gel pads, gel chambers through the shoe, kind of like this through the shoe. And these are both going to fix you, but I want the one that feels better on your foot, okay? No going for color or anything like that, just the one that feels the best, okay? This A6 here has a pretty good A6 because it has the stability, but not a real good show for you. And that's an older, older shoe. And the thing with us, we don't sell old shoes, just brand new shoes. So you're guaranteed four to 600 miles when you get a brand new shoe. You can go to a big box store, get a shoe like this for probably not in this caliber, but a good running shoe. You know how they always have sales for 30, 40 dollars at big box stores. Mine are never on sale because they're always brand new, so you're guaranteed four to 600 miles. And a big guy like you, you're gonna be changing your shoes, training for a marathon. You're probably gonna be in here, probably your next pair of shoes, probably in about five to six months. And you'll feel it start to go over again. But don't let it go that far, because I don't want you to get shin splints so bad that you get a stress fracture. So the shoe